I want to learn how I can protect myself from AIDS. How can I help others to protect themselves? I want to learn how to make some traditional dresses. To go back to school again. To reach the bright future. These girls are among 50 school dropouts from villages in the African Kingdom of Lesotho, selected by their community leaders to be part of a camp for orphans and vulnerable children run by the Office of the First Lady of Lesotho. The camp has been running for five years, but this year the First Lady invited me to her country to help redesign the program. We met at a summit sponsored by U.S. Doctors for Africa for the First Ladies of Africa who came to Los Angeles to network with selected experts and organizations and to present their projects about women. I was impressed with her efforts to empower the girls with life skills. Overall, they should know who they are because then they can stand on their own and um, know then we will have less cases of uh, sexual abuse or just tra human trafficking. My team from the International Association of Applied Psychology met with the mission to the United Nations from Lesotho and then Dr. Mary O'Neill Berry and I traveled to the country. We had meetings with the Office of the First Lady's team, we met with many local NGOs and ambassadors and we formed key local partnerships. For example, the ambassador to Lesotho from Ireland donated some funding. The Lesotho Girl Guides Association, working with UNICEF, agreed to teach about HIV AIDS risk reduction, and the Ministry of Gender and Youth agreed to teach about entrepreneurship. And we did some training of exercises with some of the girls chosen for the camp. For building confidence, the girls introduced themselves with positive adjectives. I'm the poor, I'm confident. All right. <laughs> Some exercises foster empowerment, like feeling strong as a tree, not a pushover like a leaf. And others encourage leadership. Okay, now somebody else be the leader. You be the leader. Now I'm going to follow you. Learning income generating activities like growing and selling trees fosters financial independence so the girls can resist transactional sex, meaning giving into sex for money. <laughs> Young unwed mothers living at a center also supported by the First Lady will offer advice at the camp to their African sisters. I can tell them to, ask, to abstain. If they don't want to abstain, they can use protection every time they have sex. If you have sex which is unprotected, you're going to get pregnant, you're going to get HIV and AIDS. Sharing stories and solidarity provide hope like the magical rainbows in the mountainous kingdom of Lesotho.